Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick. Couple minute riff on IT, IT security, and and in general, fighting and facing down cybercrime, which is really the topic for today. Uh, a while ago, past couple years, a family member, um, on my in-law side of the family, family member got themselves into a spot of trouble. What had happened was they had struck up a, a relationship with a, a lovely young lady online, very attractive, she had some photos, very pretty young girl. And she was coming to visit. She had some time off over the summer. She was gonna come and visit. And it was at this point in time that I got involved in the story uh, because they had like airplane flights, when they're coming, itineraries apparently can be changed. And uh, they needed someone to pick this girl from the airport because my family member who uh, travels for business was actually gonna be out of town when they flew in. All sorts of confusing things, right? And what really set off the warning bells, in my mind, was when I heard that she was Russian. Now, I think it's the Russians, but uh, Russia is to the, you know, bride scam as, you know, Nigeria is to email scam, right? I mean, synonymous. I am a Nigerian prince. Hello, I'm a Russian bride. Uh, I'm neither of those things. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, sure enough, a few days before she was supposed to arrive, she emails and says that uh, Putin has put down this law that you have to have $5,000 in escrow to prove that you can leave the country and have enough income to come back. And would he please, please, please deposit the $5,000 into this escrow account uh, so that she could come and visit. Obviously, a scam. Now when we hear about these things, uh, especially Especially, especially when these scams are going around the 90s and early aughts. Oftentimes just one or two people, right? One or two people doing these sort of scams. Much like IT work was, right? The jack of all trades who was managing the whole infrastructure and everything else. Nowadays, much like IT has become highly centralized with cloud services and everything else, same exact thing has happened with most cybercrime. So this is a perfect example. There's an article up at uh, Brian Krebs website this month. Go check it out on the Russian dating scam. We actually pulls apart a Russian dating scam software package. Software package is advertised to the aspiring cyber criminals who can purchase it, set it up. There's guidance, there's videos, there's how to's, there's advice like, hey, make sure you send X number of uh, emails beforehand before you establish the crisis, which initiates the money. There's recommended dollar values from 500 to 2,000, which makes me wonder why this other person that was executing the scam before my family member thought they could get five. Clearly, they didn't read the videos uh, or watch the videos. So it's it's quite ingenious. They even have a success rate of 1.2 percent on there, right? Success rate of 1.2 percent of the people who will see the scam will fall for it. So the takeaway is, hey. Cyber criminals are creating industries. This is a, just another example. And any way, shape, or form of a scam is now being turned into a software package and resold and federated out and what have you. Uh, take a look, it's pretty interesting what they've done with this particular one, but just keep that in mind whenever you're looking at any cyber crime, it really is a multi-layered ecosystem of criminals who are defrauding our, our friends and our loved ones. And that gets to the takeaway. The takeaway is, and this came out uh, yesterday, I was on a, a podcast where I was invited on to talk about protecting the consumer, which is something I don't usually talk about. Not in this series, something I don't usually deal with in my day-to-day -day basis. Something I think a lot of us don't do. So I'd ask you, hey, have the conversation with your, your friends and family and your loved ones. Uh, perhaps we've done a good job explaining the Nigerian prince, but maybe we need to do a better job explaining the Russian bride and other scams. Let's help, help our family members out and the people out there uh, become a little bit more street smart about these types of crimes. Have a good one.